today is Monday, March 3rd. We're only going to be hitting a high of 49 degrees in Flagstaff today, and you should be feeling those winds at 20 to 30 miles an hour. They're definitely blowing in full force. Hello NAU, I'm Heath Connett here on UTV62 with you for the next uh, three minutes or so, delivering another delicious edition of the news feed. Well, that's if you think news is delicious. Anybody else? I'm the only one. Oh, you too? Great, let's get started then. Well, in Miami, Florida, over two dozen students were arrested and seven police officers injured after a massive student protest turned into a brawl. School administrators met with students, parents, and staff at Miami's Edison Senior High School yesterday to refocus goals and attitudes. I think that the, the best thing to do is start with discipline and home mm -hmm. so that these things don't happen. The protest that started the riot was in response to a confrontation between the vice principal and one of the students. We need our students calm, stress-free, and focused for tomorrow morning. We cannot afford to allow this incident to fester or linger any longer. Police arrested 27 students and school is back in session today. A woman in Washington bought her car on Craigslist, but police soon seized it as evidence in a crime. Now she says the police have returned it in very poor condition. She's a 21-year-old interior design student, and last month, police took her car from her. They processed it for evidence in a recent highly publicized crime. The crime began on MySpace in November, where four young men are charged with luring a 16-year-old girl into the car, where she was raped by each suspect. After the crime, one of the suspect's relatives sold her the car for $9,000. A month later, police seized it as evidence and ripped it up. The bill is estimated at $2,000 in damages. Her insurance has denied a claim and the city of Bellevue has declined to pay. Police had her car for two weeks and they say they had to go over it with a fine tooth comb and it paid off. The four suspects are charged with rape awaiting trial. The basketball comedy Semi-Pro scored big this weekend with the audience at the box office. The film stars Will Ferrell as the owner of a fictional basketball franchise. Semi-Pro earned more than $15 million in its opening weekend, though it seemed like a lackluster debut compared to Ferrell's other comedy flicks. Well, last week's top film, Vantage Point, fell to second place, bringing in $13 million. I got a chance to watch this one yesterday. Great concept, but in my opinion, the story wasn't that great. But they must have done something right with their ads because it was a full house and I had to sit in the back row. I guess there are worse things in life, like being in third place, which brings us to The Spiderwick Chronicles, selling $8.8 .8 million in ticket sales this weekend. Now have I got the story of the hour just for you. It's about a news program that's raising the bar for student productions in Arizona, and lucky you, it's right here at NAU. It goes by the name of NAU Live, and it's Arizona's only live student-produced newscast. Take that, ASU and U of A. It airs live at 5 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And just like the other quality student productions here at NAU, like the news feed, you can watch it right here on UTV62. Well, I'm Heath Conant, and that's all I've got for this edition, but keep it right here, and I'll be seeing you throughout the day.